Okay, David, well, just what you could say about being a tight end in this offense and just what the takeaways have been with this new offense coming in. It's been great. I mean, we've been able to do a lot of things. We're very like versatile with our offense from the tight end position. Like, we got a lot of good guys. Our group's very deep, and I just love it. What is it about working with Dan Villari and OG and just, I mean, that room itself and Max, just what you can say about the talent of that room and how you guys push each other because there's different talents in that room. There's different elements to different people's games. So what's that like being in the room? Yeah, Coach Johnson tells us all the time, we have size, we have youth, we have experience. And, you know, it's, I can learn something every day from one, any one of them because OG, you know, he's great at catching the ball. He's great at running routes. Dan as well. So... It's great to learn those things. Max, big guy, always you know knows how to block anybody. So that, just learning little things from them every time because they know exactly what to do. It's just it's good experiences for me. You're repping Albany and Christian Brothers yep. Academy out there. What does that mean to you, that upstate New York connection? Because now you have a head coach in Fran Brown that is looking more in upstate New York, yep. more in central New York, recruiting more, getting more offers out there. So just what that means to you to be able to represent it was big in my recruitment that I wanted to stay kind of close near home and, you know, being the only power four school in New York, it was the best opportunity for me. And it's just been great that I had this chance to be here, especially because I know a lot of people out here, I have family out here and you can always rep CBA Albany, CBA Q's, you know, go brothers. And we see that, like you said, go brothers, a bunch of guys have been recruited right down the road at yeah. CBA Syracuse. So. Do you feel that love? Is it, you know, from Albany to Syracuse, even though you're two different programs, is it still one big family in a way? I mean, it's one big family, but we have our little rivalries. In yeah, and basketball, football, we've played, you know, we got our little rivalries there, but it's always one big family. So I'm glad to see you. CBA doing well. Jeff Nixon, your offensive coordinator coming from the NFL. This is an NFL style of offense. How would you describe what he's bringing to the table and, and what it looks like? You know, he's got a lot of experience, so. It's great to learn everything from him. We're learning football. We're learning down to the details, down to the basics, schemes, everything. So it's great to learn under this offense. You came in with Dino Babers and now shifted over to Fran. What is it about Fran Brown's message, his leadership, and the way that he kind of goes about his day that speaks to you? I mean, Fran's just a truthful guy. He'll tell you what it is and he'll tell us what we need to do. And it's just someone we can get behind because we want to work. Burning of the shoes? What were your thoughts on that? It was a little bit. It was, it was something new to me, so I was glad to do it. I was glad to be a part of it, something that hasn't been done in so long, I guess. So it was fun to do. I mean, we all got together as a team. It was something emotional for some of us, so it was good. You know, and it's been about tradition with Fran, bringing tradition back, which includes having alumni speak. Is there any of the Syracuse football alumni that their message really stuck out to you? I think we've had a lot come through. He's been, Coach Fran has been great on getting our alumni to come back and talk to us, share their knowledge, and share their experiences throughout their life past football. So it's hard to think of just one. We've had a, we've had a lot, so many come through. And speaking of having more than just one, Kyle McCord's the quarterback, but there's a bunch of guys pushing to be that second guy. Who have you really uh, worked with in camp, and what can you say about some of the talents out there? I mean, I've worked with all of them. They can all throw the ball, so I enjoy catching from all of them. I enjoy blocking for all of them. It's just we'll see what happens. What is it about Kyle McCord's game that sticks out to you the most? You can sling it. You can sling it. Those, the catching those, it's a little different. And this offense is going to have a lot of different weapons, a lot of different pieces and elements to it. Uh, where do you see the tight end in this? Do you feel like there's been an evolution of the tight end being utilized potentially in the game? Yeah, I mean, I think because of how versatile all our tight ends are and how deep we are, all of us can do something in the game, whether that's Rondé, Dan, me, Max, Jamie. So I think all of us have a role in this offense to do anything. Michael Johnson, senior, what's it like being coached by him? Intense guy, tough, intense guy, <laughs> but he's getting us. He's getting us right. And lastly, just what you want to say to Syracuse fans, knowing that the season's right around the corner. Just get ready. We're in for something good. Awesome.